Alrighty, so welcome back. This time what we're going to do is Thomas is going to finally try out his little scroll saw. Um, and for what we're going to do is for 4th of July we're going to make us some little driveway flags. Um, just as a kind of a first little project with that thing because I'm not sure if it'll cut this. It's really soft so it should cut it. But um, anyway, an American flag is a 1.9 ratio. So with a standard board 5.5, I went in and multiplied that, it's 10.45 inches long. So we're just going to do 10 and a half, and that's pretty darn close. So I'm um, going to cut us two pieces at 10 and a half inches, and then we're going to put them on the scroll saw and cut a little wavy you know, mark right here on each side um, afterwards. Then we'll just paint them. So. Stay tuned, and we'll show you as we go along. Keep your hands away from it, right? Yes, sir. I've done it before. Keep your hand off of this while you're lining it up. Yeah. That right, looks good. pretty good. So now just hold it tight right there. Push down. Hold on, let me get out of the way. All right, go for it. Okay, so we got our two boards cut. Now we just got to draw our little wavy mark on it. Right here is the switch. Uh -oh. Plug it in. That's why, because you got all this motion like this. You gotta hold it down and use your fingers to push it. And then you just wanna follow your arm. Okay, so we're done with the rough design. Yeah, this was the first time he's used this, and um, it's a little bit thick, like I thought. So we had a little bit of trouble cutting it. As you can see, it's not not great. Um, but general design's there. So we're going to finish it off with the sander um, and get this nice and smooth and everything that we like. Okay, so there's the template we're going to use. It looks pretty good, especially once you get it painted and put it out at the street or whatever. And uh, we thought it'd be really easy. She drew up a stencil and cut it out of uh, index cards. But as you can see on that red one right here, it didn't work very well, so now she's just freehanding it. Of course, that's why we had her do it, because she's the artist. And um, she'll be done in no time now. So she's done painting. Thomas didn't want to paint. So anyway, now we just got to figure out something for the stars. We were thinking about maybe getting some of those You've Been a Good Student stars and throwing those on there, um, or trying to find a stamp, and we'll just, you know, Put it in the paint and just do a few stamps on there to get the stars on there. Not sure. We'll figure it out. Okay. So there's your quick flag project. I just bought some little metal rod and drilled a hole in the bottom. I used a doweling jig to uh, get the hole pretty straight. We don't have a drill press uh, soon to change. So if you have a drill press, you can drill a hole almost all the way through so that uh, It'll sit on this little flag post, and um, that way they'll kind of blow in the wind and face the direction of whichever way like a flag would. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Like I said, uh, the only thing we would change is find the stencil first and then cut to that size. Uh, that'll make it a lot faster and a lot easier to do, and a lot easier to paint, of course. So, 
other than that we just did dots for the flag or the stars um, and like I said if you had a stencil it would work better anyway well thanks for watching and a cool 4th of July project there for the kids and uh, we'll catch you in the next video